Hello everyone, today we will consider an interesting problem on sound wave interference. Here is what we have. Two in-phase speakers are positioned 6.2 meters apart, both pointing toward the wall 6.6 .6 meters in front of them. A listener positioned at the wall midway between the speakers hears a loud sound. What will he hear if he moves to one side by 0.84 meters? Will he hear a loud sound or low? The frequencies of the sound emitted by the speakers are identical and equal to 245 Hz. Take the room temperature as 20 degrees Celsius. First, we can calculate the speed of sound in this room by using the following formula. The velocity of sound in the room with temperature T equals 331 multiplied by the square root of T over 273. The temperature used in this formula is in kelvins. Now, I have a question for you. What is 20 degrees Celsius in kelvins? We add 273 to the temperature in Celsius to have kelvins. So 273 plus 20, the temperature of our room, is equal to 293 kelvins. Now, we substitute this value to the formula of velocity and get the speed of sound in our room equal to 343 meters per second. Next, I need you to brainstorm a bit. What physical quantity we can find using frequency and velocity? The wavelengths, velocity and frequency of a wave are related in the following way. The wavelength is equal to velocity over frequency. So for this problem, the wavelength is equal to 343 over 245, which gives us 1.4 meters. Now let, let's look at the picture and determine what distances waves from the first and the second speakers travel to reach the listener. We can denote these distances as x1 and x2 respectively. We now we know that the distance between speakers equals 6.2 meters. If we draw lines among the listener and two speakers, we get a triangle, and the height of this triangle, according to the given, is equal to 6.6 .6 meters. Let's make some letter notations. A, B, C for the triangle's vertices, and D for this point. Now we can examine two right triangles to solve for x1 and x2. How, how can we do that? Of course, by using our old friend Pythagoras theorem. By the way, I forgot, what is the formula of the Pyth Pythagorean theorem? Yep, hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of squares of the legs. x1 is a hypotenuse of the ABD triangle. We know BD is equal to 6.6 .6 meters, what about AD? What is the value of it? It is equal to half of AC, which is 3.1 plus 0 0.84, which comes as 3.94. Now we can solve for X1. After some mathematical calculations, we have X1 equal to 7.7 .7 meters. Similarly, we can find the value of X2 and x2 is equal to 7. Let's analyze what we have got. How many wavelengths fit in x1? To see this, we just divide x1 by the wavelengths and get 5.5. It means that 5.5 wavelengths fit in x1. Now it's your turn. How many wavelengths fit in x2? The answer is 5 wavelengths. What is the difference between x1 and x2? 5.5 wavelengths minus 5 wavelengths gives us half of wavelengths. By definition, if the difference is equal to odd number of half, half wavelengths, either the difference is equal to lambda over 2 or 3 lambda over 2 or 5 lambda over 2 and etc., we observe destructive interference at the given point. What conditions must be met to get constructive interference? 
For the constructive interference, the difference delta x must be equal to integer numbers of wavelengths. It is x1 minus x2 must be equal to lambda or two lambdas or three lambdas and so on. To conclude, the listener will hear the low sound, which is destructive interference, if not at all, after he moves to one side by 0 0.84 meters. Thank you for attention. I hope it was helpful for you.